Actor Robert Wagner is our guest of TV and movie fame. He's now known as Pete Ryan on the CBS show Switch. Tell us a little bit about the role. Is, the one, is it the one we expect to see you in? A little bit of a con man, very handsome, daring. Well, I hope all of that comes off. That would be nice. Um, I, I do play a con man. I've done a little, uh, gotten into a little bit of trouble, of which uh, Eddie Albert, who is with me on the series, uh, incarcerated me for. We get out, I get out, and uh, we go into business together. And we work a little bit outside of the law to uh, get some of the people that we go after. But really, the uh, faith, the, uh, the idea and the format of the show is to be entertaining. And uh, it's done with uh, tongue in cheek and, and light. And I hope that uh, the audiences will you know, enjoy it. Can you pretty much tell, or do you get certain vibes from a show when you start, whether it's really going to be a success, or do you feel comfortable in it? Can you tell much yourself as you go along with well, it? Well, it's so much of a gamble, you know, television, really. I mean, I feel very comfortable with this because uh, I enjoy working with Eddie very much, and I think that we play off of each other very well. And uh, the man that wrote it is the man who created It Takes a Thief mm -hmm. for Me, a man called Glenn Larson, and the material feels very comfortable to me. Um, and I enjoy doing it, but there's a lot left up to whether or not uh, uh, it's on at the right time, and uh, that's, that's the gamble part of it. Are you very selective about roles you take? Well, uh, I think it's a good idea to try to keep as flexible as you possibly can. I've done a lot of different types of roles, and uh, I have uh, possibly one coming up that would be a total uh, switch. On, what I'm doing now. <laughs> I didn't mean to plug this <laughs> on it. <laughs> I know you're very active in sports. Do you do a lot of your own stunt work in your work? Quite a bit of it, yes. Quite a lot. Do you think uh, that's just a matter of choice, or sometimes you feel more involved and it's more of a real role that you play if you do it yourself? Well, one of the reasons that actors, you know, have stuntmen is because if they get hurt, the show mm -hmm. stops. And uh, they're not going to be very anxious to have you. Uh, take a chance on getting hurt. I mean, like a lot of the, uh, the high work I did in, in Thief, uh, you know, they were very nervous about. I admired your statement I heard you make uh, shortly before about not taking a series planned around you and Natalie Wood because you thought that would be uh, commercializing too much on an affair, a marriage. On an affair or on a marriage? I think marriage <laughs> sounds better, Robert. <laughs> Uh, a person. Well, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you feel that, feel that way. I mean, we both uh, have had many requests to, to do things together, and uh, it's very flattering. And we, have done, we did do one film together, as a matter of fact, called The Affair. And uh, I enjoy working with Natalie very much. She's, she's, uh, she's really a marvelous actress. I think so. But, uh, you know, it's kind of contrived to put both of us together in something, you know, unless it's really a special type of piece of material. Could that also be a strain on the relationship if you're working that closely with each other in a series for a long period of time? Well, I, I would love it myself because uh, I couldn't think of anybody I'd rather drive to work with than her. And I certainly do like coming home. What about some of the uh, screen tests? You said you were anxious to do so many when you first started because it gave you good experience. And at one time you did some with Marilyn Monroe. Did she impress you at that stage of the game? Well, uh, at that time, uh, the whole system was working in a different way in, in Hollywood. And that was that the main idea was to become under contract to a studio. And I became uh, a contract player at 20th Century Fox where there were 125 or 150 young actors who were trying to get a, a start in, in the picture business. And I didn't know anything about working in front of a camera. I had uh, done a couple of tests and some little theater work and I had worked on the stage a bit in, in amateur theatrics. So my uh, ambition was to get in front of a camera and uh, get the feeling of being around a crew and knowing exactly what was happening and also having the, being able to see it. And at one time, they wanted, uh, they had Marilyn Monroe under contract to the studio. And uh, I knew Marilyn very well. We were young, starting out together. And uh, I was asked to support her in her test. They want I you to move up a little bit. Oh, that's, that's fine right. with me. <laughs> they keep doing this to me. <laughs> How's that, all right? <laughs> well, did she uh, impress you that much? Or she oh, she was a wonderful girl. Oh, she was a wonderful girl. Really a marvelous person. 
And uh, she was on a contract at Fox, and then she left. She went to Metro, and then she came back. And uh, we were uh, very good friends. You've done some producing, and I know you've made a statement that acting's the easiest role in the whole business. That you really feel that way about it? Well, I, I have. Uh, I think that acting is um, is a, a very fine profession, and I enjoy doing it. And uh, it it is difficult to to get all the ingredients together to make a motion picture or to create a series or. It uh, can be a series of compromises which become terribly difficult when you start with a project and a, a book that you like and a piece of material and you can't get the actors you want or you can't get the director you want and you have to go and it's, uh, it can be very disheartening. Frustrating. Uh, yeah. What are some of the parts you play that you really like your work in most? Any? Well, some of them. Well, I did a picture quite a number of years ago called With a Song in My Heart with Jane Froman. And um, I enjoyed that very much. It was the Jane Froman story with Susan Hayward. And uh, it was a very good thing for my career at that time. And I've enjoyed the work I've done with Paul Newman. I did Harper with him. I liked that part I played in that. And uh, I did a couple of films with Spencer Tracy that I enjoyed very much. Did you like your role in Tower Inferno? Oh, yes, I did very much. Yeah, I enjoyed doing that. That was one of the biggies. So many stars. Yeah, a big, a lot of people. I just finished a film called Midway at uh, Universal, and that's got a lot of stars in it, too. It's the uh, Battle of Midway in the South Pacific. It's with uh, Charlton Heston, Henry Fonda, and Glenn Ford, Mitchum, James Colburn, Hal Holbrook, oh, and Mafune. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Robert. Well, thank Wagner, you, Faith. It's a pleasure to be with you. With you. Thank you.